Howdy, boys and girls. My name is Jared, and this is REI Jared. On this channel, I talk about real estate. I talk about um, all kinds of things, velocity banking, uh, financial investments, but mainly real estate. I personally am doing the co-living or rent by room model. So I'll be talking about that quite a bit. And uh, I live in Oregon, but I invest in Arizona because uh, Oregon didn't make sense and Arizona did. I have done everything traditional so far. Uh, the three houses that I have have all been purchased, two off the MLS, one off market, but all purchased with traditional financing. I am interested in creative real estate uh, and sub two and whatnot, but uh, to date, I haven't done anything in that space. I'd like to. I'm in the sub two community and the Gator community, but uh, to date, I haven't found the right deal. I am looking though. But on here, this is a place where I like to come on and just talk about real estate and exchange ideas uh, and learn. So I've only been at it since April of 2023, so I'm pretty new. There's a lot of other people that have done a way more than I have. So, But uh, I did reach uh, a milestone in my investment uh, journey, which is um, my investment income now pays all my bills. So uh, I feel like that's a pretty good milestone. I know a lot of people that, that has stated they want to get there, and I did too, and so we finally made it. Uh, now, my next milestone is to um, make enough to quit my job. <laughs> so I, what we're doing is we're, I'm at Intel, I'm an IT manager, and every dollar I make from my W-2 goes towards real estate. Um, so I think that's, that's kind of cool. Um, I should take that back. Uh, I am and I do have uh, money going out to HSA just simply for tax write-offs for this year, uh, uh, lower my tax burden because... Uh, what I wanted to do next year it'll be a little bit better so anyway but the majority of the money I make sorry details um goes goes into real estate um like I said we have three properties we're currently looking for our fourth we're trying to see if we can't find a creative deal or maybe a subject to type of a purchase uh just so we get our barrier to entry a little bit lower uh the first house we bought we bought as a uh primary and we were able to get away with a little bit less down. It ends up being about 9% total invested because uh, we did some construction on it. And then our second uh, purchase was a DSCR loan, which was 25% down, which was $105,000. And then we spent 37 k on reno because we turned the, the bigger houses that we buy, 2,000 square feet or better, non-HOA, no pool, at plenty of parking. We take those properties in Arizona and uh, add bedrooms to them, right? And we do it nice. There's one house is granite countertops, stainless steel, granite throughout, by the way, bathrooms included. And the next two houses, we switched up to quartz because uh, it's a little bit cheaper, but still just as nice and durable. Um, and so that the that was the second house. Now the third house, we, we had to put 30% down, which was kind of a blow. We were hoping we could do 25 or actually hoping to do 20. But because we were still at that time novice investors under one year and uh, we didn't have a full tax return on our investment property, the banks were a little bit weird on it. So that sort of pushed me. I'm in the sub two community, but that pushed me back to sub two and creative because um, the barrier to entry, the cost is pretty high. So uh, I'm currently looking for uh, a property in Arizona, hopefully east of the I-17 and uh, a creative or a subject to type of deal. But anyway, the third house was a uh, hundred. See, what do we put down on that? It was 30% down. I don't remember. I think it was 125 grand or something stupid like that. Um, I have to go back and look, but uh, it was substantial. But the good thing is, is it was actually cheaper than the second one we bought because overall, because we didn't have to do rental on it. We bought it. It was already done up. Somebody had already done an eight bedroom, three bath conversion and uh, had it had it up and they weren't doing too well with it. So we came in and, and bought it from them. So that's where we're at. 24 units in Arizona and one unit in Oregon, where I live. Uh, we're renting out a room. Um, and that's a whopping 500 bucks a month. But hey, it's something. But uh, that's, that's what we're doing. So uh, if you wanted to interact with me, I was thinking about doing something similar to what Dion does, where he, he goes live every week on Tuesday at like 4 o'clock. I was thinking about doing that too. I probably don't have the audience for that, but I was going to do it anyway, just to see if there's somebody out there that wanted to talk uh, co-living or I do a little bit of private money lending, not much, just to repeat borrowers. Uh, anything that I've learned, uh, I might do a live and just see what happens. I don't know what the hell I've done a few, but it's just, uh, 
just for giggles, just screwing around, which this will be also. But anyway, if you're interested in that kind of thing, uh, let me know. I'll do it on here. I also do the, um, for Michael Zuber, uh, 1230 Pacific uh, Sundays, we host a, uh, and which I've been posting on this channel, so you probably see them, but those are the uh, investment talks, or I call them Sunday sinks. I think Zuber refers to them on his channel as the accountability groups, but we're not really holding anybody accountable. It's just more of a chat and whatever happens, happens. People bring up all kinds of stuff. Um, we talk about real estate, obviously, but there's people in there that do multifamily, people that do novations and some creative stuff and all, all kinds of stuff. Single family homes, me, co-living, you know, rent by rooms, all kinds. Everybody's doing their own thing, their own way, but we all learn. Like typically people have finances, uh, finance questions and they finance their properties in certain ways. So there's, that's a common ground. But uh, yeah, it should be fun. So I'm thinking about doing that. I'm going to have to see maybe Wednesdays at five o'clock or something. Hell, I don't know. So uh, let me know if that's something you're interested in. Um, and that's it. Have a good one.